Okay, so next project today is a wiring project. I'm on a mission to get all these projects done before we head north. And this project involves this panel right here. So we've got Starlink and our MoFi router and our NVR for the security cameras and our AC unit, air conditioning unit, all that stuff is packed into this. And then we've got some switches here. This switch, which is our camp mode switch for steps to keep them out so they don't come back in when you close the door. And then this is passenger side light. This is rear flood light. This is driver side flood light. So that's what those guys do. This is an old AC uh, control panel that I don't use anymore. And this is for awning. Push down, it goes out. Push up, it goes in. It's a toggle, center off. And then this switches between our uh, omnidirectional antenna and our dual Yagi antenna. So in addition to this setup, what we need is switches over here, which I was gonna kind of put in the same type in this location. And that is to turn it on and off independently, our air conditioning unit, our new Starlink satellite unit, and our security camera. So we need additional switches. And what I was going to do is take this panel that's um, no longer needed and replace it with a set of switches similar to this in this location. Ah, there's gotta be a cleaner way because there's kind of behind here, which I'll show you later, there's kind of a rat's nest of wires. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take <clears throat> this aluminum panel and we're gonna cut it down and we're going to pull all this stuff out of there and we're gonna put a blanking panel right in here, paint it black. There are 12 separate functions that we need over here in this area. So we're going to replace that with this. So there are a variety of different companies that make these uh, panel switches and they range, uh, you can pay $1,000 for one that looks exactly like this for 12 independent buttons. And, and then it also comes with this breakout box where you wire into and then just a single wire coming out the back that'll be mounted on the panel I showed you. Or you can pay 150 bucks, which is what I paid for this. It looks pretty good, feels pretty good, and uh, we're gonna try it out. So these panels, these can be programmed as momentary contact or latching. This is a product by Miktuning, some Chinese place, I'm sure which most of the things that are labeled U.S. are actually made in China anyway. They just do final assembly in the U.S. So people feel good about buying things that say, oh, made in the U.S., but many times it's not made in the U.S. This changes the color of the back panel. This allows you to adjust the brightness from 10% to 100%, which is great. A lot of them don't have that. And then this is just power on and off. So single... Single wire coming out of the back of the unit over into plugs into this which has a breakout for all the different wires. And then what we're gonna do is for the AC switched things, we're going to use these. So these are 12 volt DC coils to contacts that'll handle uh, 240 volts, which we don't need, we need 120 volts. So this will toggle these relays on and off, and then these will be wired into this. And there may be a more elegant way of doing this, but I wasn't able to find one right off the bat. So uh, we've got four outlets because I don't want to cut the plugs off my AC unit, Starlink, and uh, my NVR for the security system. So what we're going to do is pull this plate off the top, four screws, and we're going to bypass these um, four toggle switches. And those will control these outlets. Oh, and these are cool little stickers that you stick onto here that backlight. And I'll see if I can find ones that sort of match up with the functions that I have. That's the plan.
I removed all of the old manual switches and replaced them with these 12 volt uh, relays here, mounted them on top, and then brought the wiring through the gaps uh, in between each one, which worked out pretty well. And then right here are the 12 volt uh, contacts. So we'll bring 12 volts into each of these and then we can switch AC on for any of these outlets. So I kind of hacked this box up, but it worked out pretty well. Just made these blocks here, these mounting blocks and getting ready to install it up here in the cabinet, about like that. There's the air conditioning unit that'll be powered by it. This is the Lorex NBR, and there's our Starlink power supply. And then I'm gonna clean up all the wiring, run it into that breakout box that then gets connected with a single wire to my 12 button control pad. All right, so we finished the panel upgrade for our electrical cabinet here. And so now, as you can see, there's only one wire going from this cavity here out to the door. But instead of having that rat's nest we had before, which I mostly created, uh, not earth roamer, we've got this. So this is the breakout box, essentially a fuse breakout box that you wire in all your devices that you want to control. So I've got uh, 11 out of 12 of them populated and each one as you can see is independently fused. This is uh, the negative terminal, battery terminal. This is the positive, so 12 volts supplied to the board. And uh, this is where the cable plugs in that goes to the back of our unit here. And then this is just a disconnect switch up here. I'm using uh, relays that uh, Napa Auto Parts here in Toll House carries these mctuning uh, relays which are actually the same uh coincidentally the same manufacturer as this uh control control board and this uh, keypad that i'll show you in a moment um, but i've used two of them there and those are for my uh omnidirectional and yagi uh, antennas i need to be able to flip the polarity plus and minus 12 volts on the uh antenna switching relays and that's what i'm doing with uh, those two relays those are the two uh hp hewlett packard uh switching relays right there are designed specifically for switching antennas and then uh, over here, I have a group of the same tuning um, relays, 30 amp up to 14 volts. I'm switching them with 12. So I have channel one, two, three, and four. This is my uh, Starlink power supply right there. This is my uh, NVR for my security camera system. We have a four camera Lorex security camera system. And this powers the two terabyte uh, FIFO NVR. And then this is the plug for air conditioning unit. So this is our LG air conditioner back here, and it's powered off of that. Uh, let's see, the only thing I didn't point out, this is the MoFi router that we're using that the output from the dishy on the roof, uh, the, the Starlink, comes into the WAN port there and this will uh, switch between the Starlink or my uh, different antenna inputs here, depending on uh, what's gonna give me the best performance. So now we have one cable going from the 12 button control panel here into this breakout box where all your wiring happens. I mean, I still have these two speaker wires here, but there's not much to be done with that. That's what it looks like in here. Much cleaner, tidier, much easier to troubleshoot and understand. So I'm pretty happy about that. And just took a blinking plate, made this out of aluminum, spray painted it black used it to cover up all the old ugly holes from the um, plastic manual switches and put this pretty cool little panel and it's got 12 individual functions on it. You can program it for toggle on and off or momentary contact on and off. And we have a on off button here. We've got brightness control, which 
my wife's pretty happy about. And you can change the colors. Ooh, that's kind of funky with the camera white balance, I guess. But anyway, this is red. Um, I don't know, kind of an orangish color. Yellow, green. Yeah, all the colors are weird. Um, blue or cyan, dark blue, pink, back to white. We'll probably leave it at white. So they send you a card like this, and they don't always line up with what you want to control. In fact, most of ours didn't, but we found ways of uh, modifying some of the labels so that it mostly lines up with what we want to control. So here are the different functions that we have. So this is uh, our camp mode for our steps, enabling and disabling that. This is the passenger side outdoor floodlight. This is the rear outdoor floodlight. This is the driver's side outdoor floodlight. So they kind of point in the directions that we're controlling. This is Wi-Fi. This is our MoFi 4500. Radio was the closest thing, but they call these route wireless routers radio sometimes. So that's that. This is Starlink. It's kind of a funky graphic, but it brought to mind Starlink, so that's Starlink. We can turn it on and off. This is something that looks like a Yagi antenna. I have dual Yagi antennas up on the roof, so if we want to use the Yagi antenna, we can hit that on. Otherwise, it defaults to the Parsec Rottweiler uh, omnidirectional antenna on the roof. This is still an open, unused Spot. This stands for awning one and awning two. That's about as close as we could come. It used to say aux one and aux two, but um, this is for, I'm not gonna do it now because I don't wanna put out the awning and in the awning, but uh, this puts the awning out. This pulls the awning back in. This is air conditioning. So this is our air conditioning unit up there. Blowing cold air on me right now. Turn it off. And then, uh, so that's air conditioning. And this is our camera system. So we have four cameras for a 360 view around, and I can turn that on here, turn it off. The Starlink right here, the AC unit, and the camera and NVR system. These are all AC units. So definitely need to turn those power hogs off at night. And if you don't wanna see any light from the panel at night, you can turn it off. One of the big advantages that I saw in this McTuning control panel is that um, it has manual control with this over the brightness. Many of the panels just have an auto brightness where it tries to make an adjustment depending on what the ambient light is, but it never really is what you want it to be. So I like this manual control. So that's 100%, 75%, 50%, 25%, maybe 10%, and back up. Another thing that I like about this um, McTuning unit is it's only $150 for con full control over 12 different functions, all consolidated into uh, a single panel.